I've already done the Let's Play, so if you want to see the Let's Play of this game, I'll put the playlist down below for you to check out. Get rid of that Cobra. I think that's a Cobra I got rid of. Okay, remember Kieran, you don't have double jump yet. Still can't believe that, that I jumped into that nitro. Like, I felt like I did that on purpose. I was like, you know what, I'm getting bored. Let's just end this already. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. Okay. Get that. Good. Oh. I knew I didn't spin that vase in time, but I got it. Uh, watch out for these spotlights. Whoa, that was close. Watch out for this flamethrower guy as well. Okay, good. Didn't jump too soon there. That was good. Got my timing right. I quite like these Egyptian levels. I think they're, they're quite good. And I think I might, have said, I might have said before, the dog there might represent Naughty Dog. You can see there's Cortex there on the right. Oh, that was close. I actually thought I was dead. <laughs> but I didn't die, so that's good. Right, good. The spikes didn't hit me. Right, get the jumping right. There we are. Oh god, I got squashed. But I only lost a mask, so that's good. Right, just avoid that flamethrower guy because he, I mean, he's well, really dangerous, obviously. Right, get that crystal. Oh, right, good. Didn't fall. Okay, and now tomb time is finished. So do need to come back to that. That's good. On 22 minutes now, so... This will be end, end up being two parts in there actually, which is good. And so, now it's time for a midnight run. Never mind a midnight stroll, but a midnight run. Although it probably will be a midnight stroll since I won't be going that fast anyway. I'm just taking my time for the level. Okay, let's do this pure. And I don't mean in that way, in case any of you are thinking that way, but no. <laughs> We're never thinking that way. Alright, uh, so. Okay, right, maybe it is turning into a midnight run after all. In case any of you didn't know, you can actually destroy those barrels by running into them. I know technically you're supposed to avoid them, but you can actually just destroy them by just running head first into them by holding down circle. Let's make sure I remember the jump in this one now, instead of like the poor levels. I mean, I might have mentioned that already, but. Okay, good. Right, avoid him and keep on going. Keep on chucking around. Keep on going. Nah, nothing like that, but. It's lucky I still have an Aku Aku mask here, otherwise, I probably could have hit any of these things and I would have died. Right, let's run into this battle. There we are. Oh, jump. There we are. I thought I went through that box there for a second, but I didn't. Never mind. Okay, yeah, and this level's nearly finished. There we are. Midnight run is done. Okay, so... Now it's time to face off against Dingo Dallin. Now I'll get that double jump ability. Then I can double jump over nitros. <laughs> or any other potential dangers that I could have stupidly leapt into if I didn't have the double jump. Alright then, so, dingo dial. Now, I'm just going to do this the quick way, and most of you already know what the quick way is to defeat dingo dial, and I'll show you what it is. I'll just skip this cutscene with the penguin. Oh yeah, right here, and Got to swipe jump in between the crystals, and then take him out there. 
But yeah, this is a very effective way to defeat Dingo Dal here, and quick way. As long as you sw swipe back out in time and not get caught in the explosion, you'll be fine. Okay, good. Okay, and take him out once more, and that's it. Boss is done. There we are. Easy. <laughs> you thrashed me, mate. Now, well, I'm sorry, Dingo Dal. It looks like I didn't give you a chance. Against much worse. Oh, I will be indeed, but can I survive it though? That's the question. I actually felt really bad for not giving Dingo Dal a chance, but sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. I had to, like, you know, I was gonna try and talk in the Australian accent, but you know, I might actually do this. Like, sorry, mate. I couldn't really do that, unfortunately. That's probably what I'll say right there. <laughs> I'm trying not to fail, it's like the survival games here again. So a dynamite. Now we're in Entropy's warp room right here. And like I, and like I predicted, I'm going to be dying in road crash, I just know it. Or, or not die, but I'm going to fail in road crash. Okay, so let's just keep going here and hopefully nothing bad will happen in this level. Whoa, okay, that was a bit unexpected. I managed to get, uh, spin the crash fresh away, despite him spinning me back. Okay, good. Get away from the stop. There we are. And yeah, you need the yellow gem for this to get the... if you're getting 100%, but I'm not doing that. Okay, just wait and go. Okay, and get this dinosaur egg. I've forgotten... I've actually forgotten what the name of this baby T-Rex is. If anybody can touch up on that in the comments below, then feel free to do so. I mean, I've, I think I remember the baby T-Rex's name, but... I can't even remember what, what his... No, I don't remember what his name is. So if, if anybody could touch down in the comments below for that, just out of interest or curiosity, or just an interest, then, well, feel free to do so. Okay, so get the crystal. Hopefully or not. There we are. Managed to use double jump this time to avoid those nitros. Okay, good. Alright, Triceratops is going to be chasing me again. And there's more dangers that lie ahead in this bit. Okay, so keep going. Good. And that's it. Dynamite is finished. Alright, now I could be in deep trouble on this next level. And yes, the next level I'm going to is indeed deep trouble. So I could be in deep trouble here if I die. Or if I'm very close to failing in this level. But we'll see what happens, shall we? And yeah, I don't know whether to put a pun counter in this video, but nah, I'm not going to bother. A pun counter? Nah, I don't think that's really necessary. It's like how many puns can I get in this fail episode? Go! <laughs> okay, take out that blowfish. I think it's a blowfish in the- oh! Nearly got shocked there. Shocking! Nearly got shocked there. <laughs> right then, keep going down. Oh, no, no! Oh, that was close. Which I thought I was going to die there. Right, I could be in deep trouble here. Yep. Now the pun that actually is valid in this. I don't have any masks, so... This could be do or die here in this situation. Or well, well, it is do or die. <laughs> right, be careful here. Because I know there's enemies in this tunnel. Okay, good. There's a couple of sharks here. Take that one out. Oh crap, right. That's good. Managed to avoid it. Uh, this is going to be very, very intense. Just keep spinning. Alright, I'm going to have to go up and keep an eye out for these eels. Which one? That one there, right. Get rid of them. There we are. Where's that electric thing? There it is. 
And I'm going to get the sub, well, the, the scuba thing just shortly, so that's good. I'll be able to take an extra hit. Whoa, I... Wow. I actually thought I was going to die there, but I didn't. Okay, so, I've got the scuba thing, so I should be able to be okay without taking any extra hits. I've been very lucky so far in this episode. I thought I was going to get sucked in that whirlpool earlier, but it just, it just disappeared on time. Okay, wait for that to stop spinning around. Oh crap, right, hang on, I'm taking this nitro. Come on, there we are. There we are. Okay, let's go. Okay, and deep trouble is finished. Thank goodness, because I actually thought I was going to die there. That was a bit of tense right there. Alright, so now it's time to go to high time. Okay, so skip entropy once again. Yeah, and you can clearly hear me pressing the triangle button so many times to skip this cutscene. Yeah, the cutscenes aren't important. Okay, right, high time. Let's do this. Right, that was close. I could have got caught in that fire there, but I didn't. I'm hoping there's a mask in this level, but from what I understand, I don't think there's that many masks that they offer you in these levels. Okay, I'm avoiding you. In case I hit you. Okay, and the flying carpet. Okay, get a timing. There we are. Now, this climbing I like better than Crash Bandicoot Warped. I've seen as though that enemy went through the boxes, but that's not really a major complaint right there. I got 33 lives. That's a g I actually thought I didn't jump there for a second. That kind of scared me. Alright, hopefully I can. Yes, right, good. I just managed to get on the carpet. Checkpoint. Now, if this were a time trial, I could have got an Akaraka mask, but I obviously don't have an Akaraka mask right here at this very end, so I don't. So there's no time trial. Okay, no, I don't want to go on the death path. Don't want to do that. Even though I could get the purple gem, but I really don't feel like it in this challenge. Ah, keep missing the, the steel crate. There we are. Okay, just a minute. Forget those boxes are not really important. Okay, good. Checkpoint. Right, it's time to fit. Whoa, okay. I actually left against the side of the building there, which I don't want to do. Double jump. And again. There we are. Okay, yeah, I know you're there on your own flying carpet. There we are. Okay, I'm gonna take out this enemy with TNTs if I can. Okay, maybe not. Just slide into him. Okay, I'm nearly at the end of this level, which is good. I haven't actually been a bit nervous for, for the... Well, right now, actually. I'm actually nervous right now, but since I don't have any protection. So, high time is finished. Don't have to come back to that ever again in this episode. Okay, good. I haven't muted my mic. I was just checking to see if I'd muted my mic by accident. Okay, now, it's time to go to the level which I think I'm going to fail on, and it's a road crash. We'll see. I could actually succeed in this level, but I'm not expecting to. Oh, see right there. Yep, that's a bad start. I'm already going to lose. I didn't get the boost at the beginning, which is not good. So, I think I've already lost this. That's my prediction right now. Unless I pull some sort of miracle and just win the race. I'm hoping to get the speed... All the speed boosts I can to get in front of these guys. And I somehow got that box, I've no idea how, but... 
Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to fail. Well, it's been a good run, guys, but I think this may be the end of episode 10. Of Let's Play Until I Fail. Okay. I've got an extra life. No. Oh my god. Come on. I want to get past you. Uh, just barely got past you right there. Come on, fifth, but there's no way I'm overtaking the rest of them. Especially the amount of time I have left here. No, 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 so then, so, 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 because I've got a huge turn coming up here. If only I could maintain that boost if I was able to steer correctly, but no. Oh, God, that was, a, that was really stupid on my part. Okay, right, I'm in third place at the moment, but I don't think I'm going to overtake these guys. Well, I've got one more car. I could still have a chance. Hopefully, if I don't screw up this last bit. Okay, so, so, so. Okay. Hopefully, final stretch. Can I make it? Oh, I just made it. Right. Thank goodness. I just barely made it. I actually thought I was going to fail that, but I didn't. Thank goodness. <laughs> that was close. Okay then, so road crash is done. Thank goodness, right. I know I said that, thank goodness, so many times already. Right, so, double header. Now, I'm hoping the game doesn't freeze here, because I remember when I played this sometimes, my game froze on when I entered this level, and I'm really hoping that isn't be the case. Right, fingers crossed. I haven't got both hands crossed, otherwise it could bring bad luck. So, please don't freeze, don't freeze. Thank you. Right, just avoid that guy with the big, well, the double two heads. Okay. Okay, good. I could die on this level though, you never know. I could end up being caught in the, in the way of the clubs. Oh, managed to avoid it. Well, I may have been cheating. Uh, I may have glitched the level there, but I, but it's effective. Okay, I may, may not have no choice in there, but I actually jump on this guy. Okay, good. At least he didn't hit me with, my, with the club. Okay, just keep going here and just be very cautious. Okay, good. Get this checkpoint. Hopefully I don't fall for the wizard spells. There we are. Okay, take out you. Okay, right. No, don't get me, don't get me, don't no, 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 no. Yes, right. Okay, take you out. Don't want you, don't want me, don't want you whacking me while I'm make, making my way across. This is the last medieval level in this game anyway, so that's good. Right, jump on his head. I don't know why, but like, maybe they should have offered that at the beginning of the level, I feel. It's like, okay, here's how to take the guy out. You can just jump on his head. You're like, oh, gee whiz. No, no, no. Ah! Well, there is the death. Oh well, I made, I made it halfway through the game, or, or near about halfway through the game, so that was the death. So thank you all for watching, this has been episode 10 of Let's Play Until I Fail, this is Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Thank you all for watching, this has been Clannic Gaming here, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please feel free to like, comment down below with your thoughts, and also please feel free to subscribe for more videos coming up on my channel in the future. And I hope you all have a good day, and goodbye.